In today's video, it's all about steam trains, stunning views and sunshine. Yes, you heard me correctly, sunshine, in August, in Wales. If you don't know us, I'm Rachel, and that one's Wills, and we are Postcard and a Pint. Let's get this show on the road and crack on to Carnarvon. OK, I know I said sunshine, but it's Welsh sunshine, i.e. not raining. Here we are in Carnarvon with its massive castle. All parked up for the day, so please elaborate, Rach. We're in Carnarvon and we're super excited today because we're going to do something we've wanted to do for ages, and that is ride the Welsh Highland Railway. But first, let's have a quick look round Carnarvon. OK, massive castle, check. Love spoons, sheep, dragons, rugby, daffodils and Welsh ladies, check. Morning, Mr Lloyd George. Massive town square, very pretty streets, very colourful streets too. Our favourite pub, once the heart of Carnarvon's red light district, four and six for a room, a bottle of gin and a lady, that is good value. Did we mention the massive castle and you found a ferret wheel? That's new for summer, might be going on that later. It's a very pretty town is Carnarvon, but do get yourselves to the railway station, the good people of YouTube want to see trains. Thank you. We had pre-booked online and the first thing we did was check in. Had a cheeky look around the gift shop, must find sheep and dragons. Must find sheep and dragons. It's all trains. Must find sheep and dragons. Wait, what's that? Halfway there. House. The day can continue. Wills went to the cafe in search of coffee, whilst I waited for the train on the platform. Cheers, Wills. I then missed my mouth and ended up wearing it. Apologies for my stained look for the rest of this video. Now we're off to Beth Gellert and you know what happens there. Yep, you can tell we're off to Beth Gellert. Take a look at those clouds. Yes, Beth Gellert usually equals a good soaking. What's that? It's our train! There's the posh seats. They're not ours. Ours are nearer the back. And what's that, Rach? Got a shop on it. Yeah. My day is complete. Towards the back, we spied an open carriage with no windows and thought, we'll have a bit of that. I say back, it turns out it was the front, as Carnarvon is the end of the line. Now a fact please, Rach. The Welsh Highland Railway is a 25 mile long, restored, narrow gauge railway that runs from Carnarvon to Port Maddock. But today, we're going as far as Beth Gellert. Thanks for that. Now all aboard, it's nearly time to go. Wills is ready, and remember, don't stick your head out of the window. Here we go. Here's hoping we've got plenty of coal and water on board. Bye, Welsh Sunny Carnarvon. We'll see you this afternoon. More about the line, if you would please, Rach. This railway goes to the Aberglass Glim Pass and at Fort Madden connects with the Fastinyog Railway and the very short Welsh Highland Heritage Railway. It was absolutely magical just trundling through the countryside at this leisurely pace, with the sound of the carriages rattling and the smell of the steam in the air. Will's got to do some field recording. Don't stick your muff out of the window, lad, whatever you do. We passed through stations along the way. Everyone was so friendly. Morning, missus. We really felt like we'd stepped back in time. We loved it. A brewery pub too. Fantastic. Ooh, I don't know what that is. But remember, kids, don't lean out of the window. What are you like? Also, and for £6, you can buy a guide of the whole trip. And a very good guide it is too. Another fact, please. The commercial history of the railway was from 1923 to 1937, and it was never a success. What a shame, as it's absolutely beautiful. I'd ride this train every day if I could. Let me hand over for a second to the King of Comedy. Do not lean out of the window. I wonder why. <laughs> you take your time, you <laughs> Hilarious Wills. Now back to the Welsh Highland Railway. The next railway fact for you. As I said, it opened in 1923, but it never picked up the freight traffic that it hoped to for the people working in the slate lines. It went into receivership after four years, or hung on till 1937, thanks to the York Railway. It's had quite the chequered past. What do you say, Wills? You can tell we're getting closer to Beth Gellert. It's starting to rain. There's still blue bits in the sky. Let's not write this day off yet.
One of the reasons this railway didn't work was because the bus could do the journey in half the time and the trains were outdated and uncomfortable. We'd ride it every day for views like this though. Absolutely stunning. Time seemed to slow down as we witnessed more and more beautiful views. It was like we'd been transported to a different era. What does it make you feel, Wills? I feel like Kay Harker from Box of Delight, and that's splendiferous. It certainly is. I almost expected to see the wolves running. I don't know how you can come on here and not feel happy for the entire journey. It's amazing. It certainly is. And it's so sad to think that this railway, as a workers' railway back in the day, didn't work out. The Fastinyog Railway certainly helped. But by World War II, it was all over and the rails were lifted for wartime scrap and the track lay dormant. We were now making our way into the Aberglass Glim Pass and the scenery was becoming ever more mountainous. Time for some more field recording as our train slowly climbed through woods and past rivers. It was all so picturesque. Through farms. What have you seen now, Rach? Over there is Clinkwecklin and some really cute calves. They were super cute. But not you though, eh? You're just scary. The journey now goes from beautiful to breathtaking. As you ride along Clinkwecklin, with the mountains becoming ever bigger, you are filled with a sense of awe. We are now in the heart of the Snowdonia National Park. As you arrive at the head of the pass, you look back at this. Okay, so the skies are growing ever greyer, but we don't care. We've packed our thicker jumpers and rain will not spoil play today. We stopped at Reed Thee for more water. From Reed Thee station, it's possible to see the summit of Snowdon, Wales' highest mountain. But she wasn't playing today. Thoughts so far, please? You enjoying it? Yes, it's brilliant. Loving it. It really is. And the slightly greyer day made it more majestical and mysterious. This really is the way to travel. Then the day took a totally unexpected turn. We're just coming into Beth Gellet and the sun's coming out. Brilliant. Yep, usual Beth Gellet vlog weather looks like this. But not today. It may not be blue skies and sunglasses, but it's not raining. The very nice chappies who had driven us here were kind enough to show us their engine. Ooh, uh. Just going to uh, put that on. A little bit. Make it less smoky. Make it less smoky oh, here. That's great. Asphyxiation. Nice one, thank you. Wow. Engine 87 was built in 1936 for the South African Railway. This engine was imported to the UK for the Robin Hood's Bay scheme in North Yorkshire, which never happened. In 2009, freshly restored, it started work in Wales. Time to head into Berth Gellert. We'll make sure we're back here in time though. There are other routes on offer across the different railways, but share some thoughts on what you've just done, Rach. We're in Beth Gellert and it's not raining. Shh, maybe because we packed our thicker jumpers today. And even the sun came out just before. Anyway, that was amazing. It was so good. The views were incredible. It took an hour and a half to get here. We've now got an hour and a half in Beth Gellert. God knows what we're going to show you. Uh, probably Beth Gellert in the dry. That'll be a new thing for this channel. And then we go back and we get to do that all again. Highly recommend. Oh, and what I really love is they put on loads of loads and loads of carriages so it wasn't packed we had half a carriage to ourselves we were window to window to window to window and today's kids all go oh it's too cold to be outside so it was the emptiest carriage top tip thanks for sharing now let's see Beth Gellert without rain do you know what it might just be ice cream weather in Beth Gellert with just a thick layer of cloud and your second thickest jumper 
We decided, however, to stop for lunch. Now, it wasn't chips on the wall kind of weather, but we did dine al fresco. Under an umbrella, of course. Now, what are we having? We just stopped at Cafe Colwyn, got to have some to eat. I'm going to have a fish putty. Rachel's having some haddock and chips, or haddock fish cake and chips. We've only got an hour left because we spent the first 20 minutes looking at the engine. But there we go. We'll show you what we can in that time. Cafe Colwyn is a favourite of ours, and a pint of Snowdon lager was on the cards. The fish cake was good. The chips were good. Champion. And Wills' fish finger butty was divine. Now stop playing with it and eat it. Good lad. We did the usual Baird Gellert thing. Walked down the side of the river, but in the dry. Made our way past St Mary's Church, but in the dry. And walked across to Gellert's grave in the dry. And even met a couple of lively Gellerts on the way. Good dogs. Uh, I think you need to cut your grass. That poor fella is having to jump just to see. Go on, lad. As we say every time we come here, it is a beautiful story. But this is just a flying visit today. But if you want to hear the full story, check out our bed gullet video, which I'll link below. But it is raining all the way through that one. Enjoy it in the dry. And the tree has leaves on. Now, this next poor little gullet was having troubles whilst his man was looking at a dead dog's grave. Ma'am, me foot stuck. No, leave the dead dog alone. Me foot, it's stuck. Can you help a dog out here? Thank you. What a beautiful spot for a beautiful story. Wills? But if you don't know the story, basically, it's this prince who had a dog, who went out hunting, left his baby, came back, lots of blood, no baby, saw the dog, killed the dog, thought dog had killed the baby, went behind the couch, saw dead wolf, saw baby, alive, quite happy. That's the story. And it was all made up by the guy who won the goat hotel anyway. And that's the abridged version. Yep, not the master of storytelling is our Wills, and I'm not sure he went behind the couch in the 13th century. Anyway, moving on. Now I went into this gift shop just to visit the resident cat. But he wasn't in. So we had a look around, got our fix of dragons, then started to make our way back to the train, still fully dry. Nice shot, lad. No ice cream today, instead it's Snowdonia cheese. Don't mind if we do. Tea tonight will be a triumph. Then it was back to the station in good time for the return journey. Cheers, Beth Gellert. We really enjoyed ourselves today. Here comes the Aberglass Glen from Port Madden. Amazing. Now have a lovely time in Beth Gellert, chaps. We're off home. Just had a quick look around Beth Gellert and now we're heading back to Carnarvon. And look at that, even a patch of blue sky. Let's go. I know we always moan about the rain, but if we didn't have so much rain, the grass wouldn't be this green, would it? Past beautiful mountains. Have you got any more facts for us, Rach? In 2003, Prince Charles, now King Charles, drove this train as part of the opening of the Read The section. Fantastic. Oh, and take note, Avanti West Coast trains, there are at least eight carriages on this train. None of your three coaches stuff like sardines from Flint to London for the price of 80 quid, eh? This is how you do it, and I believe there's a museum too. And if you want to check out the museum of the Welsh Highland Railway, you'll find that in Port Maddow. Thanks very much, tour guide Tracy. And look at that, blue skies are coming. The first inklings of restoration came in 1961 with the formation of a group with the aim to reopen the line. Starting in 1997, the railway was opened in sections. All in all, it seems to have been a hot mess of three groups, all wanting the same thing, but constantly arguing about who owns what and how to achieve it. They did it in the end, though. Before we knew it, we were back in Carnarvon once again. Top trip. We'd enjoyed our open carriage very much, but now it was time to check out the closed carriages and the posh seats. Yes, it's all very nice, and I suppose you can't stick your head out the window, but it's not for us. Moving on, let's get out of the train and try the first class carriage. This is a luxury Pullman carriage. Yes, it's very posh and looks very comfy, but it reminds me of a massive goldfish bowl. We'll stick with the windowless carriage, please. 
This was such a good trip and we highly recommend it. You can't beat a day of steam train travel. Cheers, Welsh Highland Railway. We'll be back. So rate your experience if you please. How good was that? That was absolutely amazing. Highly recommend that. It was a brilliant way to spend the day. It was indeed. And I think that's the perfect description. Right, as Cadu members and with a massive castle right next to you, it would be rude not to go in. Since our last visit, they have finished the restoration of the King's Gate, and it's incredible. There is new artwork. It now has disabled access and they have created seats with incredible views. We were glad we'd called in just to see this. We do have a vlog all about Carnarvon and the castle. We'll link that below if you'd like to check it out. It really is a wonderful place to visit. They have loads of exhibitions at Carnarvon Castle. One of my favourites is the investiture chairs of the Princes of Wales and also the origins of Welsh princes from the Pillar of Elizig to present day, all laid out on a giant chessboard. What a great day. The only way to make it better is a pint back home. See you there. We're back and that was a fantastic was day. It was fun, wasn't it? Honestly, we were like two little kids. We went, we'd reserved a table for two on an inside one. We yeah. saw the outdoor one. We were like, we're having, sitting in there. Having that. Sat down. So we could lean out the window. So many families came in and you could see the parents going, oh, should we sit here? And the kids going, it's going to no, be too cold. cold. And so many mums and dads were like, oh, okay, we'll go inside then. Yeah. Yeah, we literally had half that carriage to ourselves. Was ace, we were running from side to side to side to side as the views went. It was stunning. Made once, some recordings. Once you entered that pass... Oh my God, the views were just that lake. amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely amazing. We didn't see the top of Snowdon. Unfortunately, no, it was a bit cloudy. No, a bit cloudy, but we got to Beth Gellert in the dry. I know, that's the first time on this uh, in the channel. channel ever in the dry. Yep. That is what it looks like. Um, it wasn't Meg particularly sunny, though, Megan, was it? Megan, Michelle, Evan and Brady, just in case you're wondering, that is what it looks like in the dry. Not in the sun. Not, in the, <laughs> not well, the sunny bit. Sunny-ish. Sunny bit. Mm. Yeah, we kind of power drowned, had something to eat. and then, We didn't have long, did no, we? No, because we spent time looking at the engine. Then it was back again. And tell you what I like. What's that? Now being a Cadu member, yeah. just being able to you know, rock into the castle for a little bit. Normally, if you paid the entrance fee, you feel like you should spend a good two, few hours, three hours there. We spent about half an hour we in there this time, it. didn't we? We're like, we? oh, they finished that since last time, and we'll have a look at that. No, I want to see that exhibition again. Mm -hmm. Spent half an hour, forty mm. minutes, and uh, then we Jobs went. Didn't go on the Ferris wheel. So that was it. But I've learnt today. What? That I think that Ferris wheel has been nicked from Bo Maris. Ah, uh, we had a message to Yeah, we? saying, no, that Ferris wheel's not in Bo Maris anymore. I said, I don't think I might know where it is. Mm. It's in Carnarvon. But more importantly, yes. by the time you see this video, yes. hopefully, all yes. being well, touch wood. Yep. Yeah. We've been on holiday. We've and been we've on come holiday back. Bots. And you are set for a few weeks of Greek island content. How exciting. We're going on a cruise. We are, or we've been on a cruise, we're going on a cruise. <laughs> and we asked you last week to follow us on Instagram. Fingers crossed we've managed to um, do some content. Because yep. we're filming this a couple of days before we go. Yeah, trying to get organised. Yeah. That's a bit new for it us, is, isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't it? Okay, so fingers crossed we're back and we'll be enjoying some Greek content soon. Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. So if you'd like this video, we'd be very happy. If you would. Hit that button um, if you would hit the subscribe button, leave the comment, the bell, if you the, all of that stuff. And, um, have you been on the Welsh Mountain Railway? Is that what it's called? Welsh Mountain Welsh Welsh Highland, Highland Railway. Highland Railway. Then there's the Festinog Railway. There's so many yeah, of there's, them. There's three. There's three. Okay. <laughs> and some but go anyway. to Port Maddock and some go on to uh, yeah. Blythe Festinog. Shut up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As we say, I'm going to say in postcard and a pint. We'll say today, cheers to the good times, but it will be Yamas soon. But as we say, in postcard the pint, cheers, cheers to, to the, the good, good times. times. What kind of train has a runny nose? I don't know. A choo-choo train. Oh.